Hola. Well, that's it for my two years of high school Spanish. Truth is, I, I speak uh, very little Spanish, but I do a lot of destination weddings, and that's what we're going to talk about today. I have been really fortunate over the years to travel all over the world to do some really cool events for some really special people. Um, and I've learned a lot of lessons along the way, so I'm going to share with you a few tips. So if you're hiring a photographer, uh, keep these in mind. And if you're a photographer and you just got your first gig and it's, you know, in some faraway land, listen to what I have to say. It's really, really helpful. So um, first and foremost, for both parties, whether you're buying or selling, right, whether you're the, the, the client or the, or the photographer, this is a job, right? This is not um, an opportunity for you to put on a sombrero and jump naked into the pool, right? This is work at the end of the day. So with that, your contract has to be really spelled out. What are those travel expenses? Is it, is it just airfare or is it meals per diem, Uber expenses, whatever? Figure out what your travel costs are and who's paying for what and get that in writing ahead of time. What is your backup plan for photographers, both for equipment and for your files? Do you have backup equipment? And if you don't, get it. You can't go down to some faraway land with one camera and three lenses. Um, so, and also your files, what are you doing with those? Are you making copies? Are you sending them to the cloud? What are you doing? Again, I, I typically do two and three day events. So if I go down to Mexico City, say for example, I may shoot um, a rehearsal dinner. Uh, I may shoot a, a beach part, party of some sort, or maybe uh, you know yoga on the beach in the morning, followed by a brunch, followed by the wedding and maybe even a Sunday brunch the day after, who knows. But it could be a multiple day of thing, so um, you wanna make sure you've spelled out exactly what the hours are for both parties. All right, so to wrap it up, just quick, the, the, the few points. Don't hire a rookie. If the person's never done it before, it's probably not a good time to risk your wedding photography on that. Um, have a backup plan, have travel expenses, and all of this spell out very clearly in the agreement. So this goes for both sides. Photographers, what is your backup equipment and what are you going to do with those files after you shoot them? Uh, and of course, last and probably the most important aspect of this is that keep in mind that no matter how exotic and beautiful this is, they're relying on you to really produce some amazing stuff. So this is not a playtime. This is not a vacation. This is hard work, and if you do it right, it's really, really rewarding. So, hey, subscribe to this channel. You'll get a lot out of it. And if you got more questions, hit me up. I'll be happy to help you.